maybe one or two days ago and I don't have any problems with anyone so don't be offended or anything like that I am making this video to help you so I was messaging this woman and it was about faith in the power of the tongue and she told me or he or she told me that they agreed with it but the part about the faith part about praying for something or saying something and believing in what you are praying then receiving it they did not agree with that then that person named a couple of people who preach about it and I guess she does not like the preaching of those people so let's go to mark 11 and 24 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them so what does that mean if I desire it, if I want it, if I need it, this is saying what I have to do is pray for it and believe that I have received them and I will have them. So this is not, I am not going by what one or two people are saying. I am reading this from the Bible very clear let me say this though before you pray make sure that you repent of your sins I don't have the scripture on me right now I can't look it up on my phone but it says that God does not hear a sinner's prayer so make sure that you repent of your sins before Yes, make sure that you repent of your sins before you pray because you don't want your prayers hindered. For instance, even if I believe that I did nothing wrong all day long, I still repent multiple times because I want to make sure that my prayers are not being held back by my ignorance. I am just making it plain. <clears throat> I don't want to be held back or my prayers to be held back because of some things that I have done wrong. Let me see if I can find that scripture right quick because I don't want to be telling you something and you may think I am tripping and stuff like that. So give me a few seconds about God does not hear a sinner's prayer. So, okay, God does not hear a sinner's prayer. Maybe you all can look it up too. So, what popped up is John 9 and 31. So, let's look at it. Okay. So now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So this is saying that God does not hear, God does not consider your prayer. So this is the reason why you need to repent of your sins before you pray. So this is John 9 and 31. Look it up. <laughs> I don't know if this works. Does that work? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> so John 9 and 31. So repent of your sins beforehand. Does that make any sense? So say, God, please forgive me of everything that I have done. Once you do that, then you start praying. I almost do that every single time before I pray. 
if you desire it, if you believe that you are going to receive it, what this is saying, you shall have it. Even if I don't see it right now, does not mean that I don't have it. Because, as I was telling you, the supernatural realm is more real than this realm. Do we see everything of the supernatural realm? Of course not. So how do I know? For all I know, what I am praying about can be right by me right now. And God is testing me if I will continue to keep my faith. That is a possibility. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when you pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. Not maybe, not whatever, ye shall have them. So that is a promise. Even if it takes one million years, <laughs> example, <laughs> you are going to have them. So why not pray for a bunch of things, not only for cars and clothes and stuff like that, but for the salvation of your family, for so many other things. Because this is saying, repent of your sins, Maintain your salvation and believe. That's it. And you are going to get what you want unless you are asking for something sinful. Like, God, you know, give me the power to rob a bank. <laughs> God, I want to point my finger and kill a person. No, no. It can't be anything sinful or goes against the rules and regulations of the Bible. It, it has to be, it can't go against the Bible. Does that make any sense? So this is not just about the word of faith or whatever that person said. This is the word of God. I am showing you right now. There is another scripture that I can go to, but let me keep it simple. So I gave you Mark 11 and 24. You should write this down. And I gave you John 9 and 31. So two scriptures. So if you forget everything that I have said in these eight minutes or so, Remember, you have to repent before you pray to be on the safe side because I told you that God is not going to consider your prayer if you are in sin. So repent anyways to be on the safe side. Then, then pray, believe, and receive. So repent, pray, receive hold on <laughs> repent pray believe then receive so let me see r p b r <laughs> so r p b r repent pray receive oh no <laughs> repent pray believe then receive does that make any sense? I really hope so. Repent, pray, <laughs> believe, then receive. Only four or four. Four things. Repent, pray, <laughs> believe, then receive. <laughs> Okay, God bless.